Hi everyone, so I will be showing you how to implement material UI components inside of your React project. So here I am at the material UI website. Uh, if you want to navigate to here, just go to the GitHub and uh, just click on the material UI link down here. So before we get into it, um, uh, let's have a look around the uh, documentation. So on the left, here we can see a bunch of component demos. Um, so this is essentially everything that Google has created for you to use inside of your React project. So they've done sort of like the hard work and sort of the styling. Um, and what we'll be doing today is we'll be implementing a progress uh, loader. So something like this. And um, for this documentation, uh, you can click on show the source and it will essentially give you the code on how they've implemented what they've got. So for example, this button here, and we want to see how they've done it. You can see that um, <coughs> they have a button, um, they have a statement here, they're loading it, and a bunch of properties that they've used. Cool, so I guess let's, uh, let's get into it. So, to start off, uh, as usual, we'll need to npm install the material UI package. So all you want to do is um, copy this into your console here. Paste that in. And uh, wait for it to install. So while it is installing, um, I thought it'd be good to mention um, a couple of, well, quite a few people have been having um, issues around TSLint. So Visual Studio Code actually has a plugin um, to help you fix sort of those errors. So all you need to do is, uh, oops, so that's for icons. So, uh, so if we go to VS, if you type into Google VS code TS lint and we click on the second link here for uh, VS code TS lint um, and just click install. So once you've done that, uh, I'd recommend um, closing and reopening Visual Studio Code, um, but I'll explain this later on. So just wait for uh, VS Code to install Material UI. And uh, once, and I guess while you guys are waiting, uh, it might also be a good idea to uh, npm install the material UI icon pack as well. Cool, so that's done. So I'll install the icon pack as well. So uh, material UI core is uh, the components, and uh, material UI icons, which is this one here, is um, is is just the icons. So down here you can see a bunch of icons that you guys are able to use inside of your projects. Cool. So I guess that's all the installing done. So <coughs> I guess while this is installing, uh, we should be able to use the um, Material UI core packages. So what we want to do inside of our app.tsx file is we want to replace the loader down here. So to do that, um, if we go to the Google documentation, uh, here's the loader, here's the code for it. So what they've done is they've imported the circular progress from at material UI core circular progress. So we want to do the same thing. Let's import that into our project scroll to the top, paste that in, 
And now what we also want to do is we want to replace the loader with this sort of like an element like thing. Um, so if we go down to where we were before, yep, there we go. Oh, so down here, we can just replace that with circular progress. And you'll notice, notice that it is um, self-closing. So save that. And uh, if we go back to the documentation, um, we can see that there's also a couple, <coughs> excuse me, properties that we can use, such as setting the color and the thickness of the circular progress loader. You'll notice down here, um, the purple one is a lot thicker than the rest. Um, the color secondary, uh, this is one of the um, essentially like built-in color packs that we can use. Um, so that is why that color is red. And we can also set the size of the spinner. Um, so if you guys didn't know, um, when you dragged into, when you dragged in a meme, um, the spinner would change, so that's what we're changing down here. So, uh, yeah, let's wait for the material UI icon pack to install. Cool, so once that's done, um, npm run start, and we can test whether or not our project, um, whether or not our loader has been implemented successfully. So I guess while we're waiting for that, um, I'll just explain some things up here. Oh, okay, so here um, the reason why it's green underlined is because our, um, our loader is declared but it's never used. So before we were using the loader component from React Loader Spinner. So we're, since we're not using that anymore, we can delete that. And you'll see that uh, this is an error. Um, something about the uh, import sources within a group being alphabetized. So here is the cool part. So if we click on Control Shift P, oh, Control Shift P, where did it go? Whoops, Control Shift P, cool, finally. Um, we can go fix all, yep, there we go. So at the top it says fix all auto fixable problems. We click enter. And the cool thing is, uh, Visual Studio Code will automatically fix those errors for us. So if you do Control S and let it recompile, <coughs> um, there should be no more errors. Cool. So we can see that it's been compiled. Head over to here. Uh, let's try dragging and dropping an image. So go to downloads. Uh, let's see if I have an image. This one should be an image. Cool. So you can see um, the loader here is uh, the material UI loader. So it's as simple as that. So now let's um, do a bit more of that. So here inside of our header.tsx, let's change the styling of this from the React Bootstrap one to the material UI one. So to save time, let's head over to GitHub um, and do our favorite thing, which is copy and paste. So we'll just copy that, paste that in here. It'll give us a bunch of errors because uh, we're no longer using the index link container um, and we're also not using the uh, nav bar. So let's just delete those. So 
let's import these uh, things that we're going to use. So copy and paste that. And this down here is the menu icon. So paste that. So uh, the menu icon is what we're using down here. And this is note that this is from the material UI forward slash icons and not from material UI core, which is why we needed two statements here. Um, so if you're wondering, uh, I'm not sure. yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let's fix these errors uh, as we did before. Fix all auto fixable problems. Control S, let that recompile. And we should see that our code has, uh, should, that our page has updated with the new uh, material UI items. So uh, app bar, toolbar, and the icon button. So just keep in mind these elements here. Um, and if we head over to here, uh, we can see that um, our changes have been implemented, right? So here is the icon. So the hamburger menu is um, this here. And the icon button, which is the circular thing outline that you see, is the uh, icon button. And um, here inside of the link, uh, we have included an inline style. So yeah, more or less like an inline style. So if we wanted to make page one and page two a different color, just paste that in. Uh, save that and we should see that page one and page two are now white yep so um, That is more or less how you use uh, material UI items inside of your react project uh, If you guys have any issues uh, make sure you read the documentation properly um, and uh, feel free to post on the Facebook page but uh, apart from that, um, best of luck, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.